Welcome to Blind Truth. Today, we explore 20 ancient warriors so savage, they'll make you rethink history. These fierce fighters were legends in their time. Let's dive into their incredible stories and see why history remembers the bold and the brave. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more amazing content. Number 20. Apache Warriors the original people of America have been called many names. American Indians, First Nations, Indigenous Americans, and more. They were the first inhabitants of the lands now known as the United States, living here long before Christopher Columbus arrived in 1492. Native Americans had diverse societies across the continent. However, European colonizers brought diseases and took their lands, killing many Native Americans. But they were fighters, especially the Apache. Apache warriors were known for their skills, fierce attacks, and resilience. They belonged to groups like the Chiricahua, Mescalero, and Western Apache, defending their southwestern lands against European settlers, Spanish colonizers, and rival tribes. The Apache used expert tactics and knew their rugged terrain well, giving them an advantage in battle. Leaders like Geronimo became legendary during the Apache Wars of the late 19th century. The Apache had a strong warrior ethos, fighting for their beliefs, family, community, and cultural pride. Today, they continue to uphold these values and remain proud of their traditions. Number 19. Roman Legionaries The Roman military is famous for its power and dominance, taught in schools and shown in media. Roman legionaries were the backbone of the empire, known for their discipline, training, and military skills. A Roman legion had about 4,800 to 6,000 men, undergoing rigorous training focused on physical fitness, weapons use, and battlefield tactics. They worked as a cohesive unit, crucial for Rome's military campaigns and expansion. Though the Roman Empire eventually weakened, Roman legionaries were once feared for their battlefield prowess, discipline, and power. Number 18. Mongol Warriors Genghis Khan is one of history's most dominant and brutal conquerors. His Mongol army, known for its military dominance, rose to power in the 12th century, uniting Mongol tribes and expanding across Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. The Mongols excelled in horsemanship, archery, and innovative tactics. Their cavalry could unleash rapid arrow barrages while staying mobile, executing fast maneuvers on the battlefield. Genghis Khan's strategies are still studied today, influencing modern military tactics. Number 17. Vikings The Vikings, known for their seafaring, exploration, and raids, struck fear into their enemies. Famous for their longships, Viking raids were bold and dominant, spreading fear across Europe. Viking warriors played key roles in their success, living by a warrior code that emphasized honor. This code helped them become legendary figures in history. Number 16. Samurai Warriors Japan has a rich culture and history, valuing both tradition and innovation. Samurai warriors are a prime example of this. They were the noble class of medieval Japan, feared for their strict adherence to the Bushido code, known as the Way of the Warrior. This code emphasized loyalty, honor, and self-discipline, guiding their behavior on and off the battlefield. Samurai were skilled in martial arts and strategic thinking, using iconic swords, distinctive robes, and unique hairstyles. They were some of the most feared warriors of medieval Japan. Number 15. Assyrian Warriors in the first millennium BCE, Assyrian warriors in the Near East were known for their exceptional martial skills and tactics. They had a professional standing army with infantry, chariots, archers, and more. The Assyrians excelled in siege warfare, using battering rams, siege towers, and mobile shelters. Their brutal tactics combined with psychological warfare made them a formidable force. 
They also introduced iron weapons and armor, giving them an edge over enemies using bronze. However, by 612 BCE, their empire was in decline and eventually fell. Number 14. Carthaginian Warriors Carthage was a powerful military force in the Mediterranean from the 9th to the 2nd century BCE. Their army included citizen soldiers and skilled sailors in their formidable navy. Carthage relied on mercenaries and allies from various regions. They famously used war elephants in battles, with Hannibal Barca being a notable commander who employed them during his Italian campaign. Their naval supremacy helped control key trade routes, but they eventually fell to Roman conquest after fierce resistance. Number 13. Persian Immortals The Persian Immortals were an elite force in the ancient Persian military during the reign of Cyrus, the Great and his successors. Known for their exceptional skills, discipline, and consistent numbers, they were made up of 10,000 soldiers from Persian nobility. The Immortals could quickly replace fallen or injured members, maintaining a constant strength of 10,000. This gave the illusion that they never died, making them a feared infantry unit in ancient Persia. Number 12. The Huns Attila the Hun was a powerful leader who commanded a fierce army called the Huns. This nomadic group from Central Asia terrorized the Western Roman Empire in the late 4th and 5th centuries CE. Skilled in horse riding and archery, the Huns used quick strike-and-run tactics. Without their horses, they might have been forgotten. Attila's leadership made them a dominant force. After his death in 453, the Huns declined and eventually disappeared, but they remain a legend of fearsome warriors. Number 11. Zulu Warriors In early 1800 southern Africa, the Zulu warriors were the most feared. Led by Shaka Zulu, they used innovative tactics like the buffalo horn formation to surround and defeat enemies. Zulu warriors carried short spears, shields, and wore distinctive attire. Warfare was a core part of their culture, and young men trained rigorously. Their courage and ferocity were unmatched, even against British firepower. Zulu war dances, with spears and shields, express strength and unity. Today, Zulu traditions continue to honor their warrior legacy. Number 10. Mamluks the Mamluks were a medieval Islamic warrior class of slave origin who rose to power in the Middle East and North Africa from the 9th to the 19th century. Their name means owned in Arabic, reflecting their slave origins. They received intense military and Islamic education and became the backbone of Islamic armies. Known for their loyalty to commanders, they also contributed to arts and culture. The Mamluks successfully defended against the Mongols, but fell to the Ottoman Empire in 1517, which assimilated them into their ranks. Number 9. Aztec Eagle Warriors Aztec Eagle Warriors were elite soldiers in the Aztec Empire, known for their distinctive attire and combat skills. Young men from noble families had to prove their physical and combat abilities to become Eagle Warriors. They played key roles in both military and religious activities, connecting the earthly and divine realms. Despite their prestige, the arrival of Spanish conquistadors led to the Aztec Empire's downfall in 1521. Number 8. Hoplites Greek hoplites were infantrymen known for their weapons, armor, and phalanx formation. This technique involved soldiers interlocking shields to create a nearly impenetrable wall. The Greek and Roman conflicts are legendary, with hoplites playing a crucial role. Over time, as armies became more professional, the prominence of hoplites declined, and they eventually disappeared. Number 7. Celtic Warriors Celtic warriors of the Iron Age were feared for their ferocity, unique weapons, and striking appearance. They lived in regions including modern-day Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and parts of Europe, recognizable by their tattoos, long hair, and colorful clothing. They valued honor and bravery in battle. 
They used chariots and heroic charges to break enemy lines. Despite their efforts, the Celts were eventually conquered by the Romans led by Julius Caesar. Number 6. The Janissaries In the Ottoman Empire, there was a group called the Janissaries. Established in the late 14th century, they were vital to the Ottoman military and political scene until the 19th century. Young Christian boys from conquered areas were taken, converted to Islam, and trained as soldiers. The Janissaries were the backbone of the Ottoman army, helping expand the empire into Southeast Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. They excelled in siege warfare and often played a role in palace politics and overthrowing rulers. Eventually, technological advancements and military changes made their methods outdated, and they were disbanded by the Sultan. Number 5. Mary Warriors the Mary arrived in New Zealand around the 13th century and quickly developed a rich warrior culture. Mary warriors wore intricate tattoos showing their status and achievements. These tattoos told stories of their lineage, skills, and history. Before battle, they performed the haka, a dance to intimidate opponents, and show unity. After European colonists arrived in the 18th century, Mary warriors got firearms, changing warfare dynamics. Eventually, the Mary and Europeans found common ground and lived together peacefully. Number 4. Egyptian Chariots Egyptian charioteers were elite warriors known for their skill in chariot warfare during the Bronze Age. Initially used for ceremonies and hunting, chariots became a key military asset. Charioteers were highly mobile, allowing quick flanking and hit-and-run tactics. Their intense training in archery made them dominant in battle. As military technology evolved into the Iron Age, chariots became obsolete, replaced by cavalry and infantry with better weapons. Number 3. The Macedonian Phalanx Alexander the Great's success in warfare was partly due to the Macedonian Phalanx, developed by his father, Philip A. This formation was an evolution of the Greek hoplite phalanx, with soldiers called phalangites using longer spears to create a formidable wall. The Macedonian phalanx often had a depth of 16 or more ranks, leading to many victories under Alexander the Great. Number 2. Terracotta Warriors In 1974, farmers in China discovered the tomb of China's first emperor, revealing thousands of life-sized terracotta warriors, each statue about six feet tall and weighing up to 600 pounds, was unique, with different facial features and ranks shown by headgear. These warriors were created to guard the emperor in the afterlife, reflecting the ancient Chinese tradition of burying items needed in the next world. Number 1. Sassanid Cataphracts the Sassanid Empire in Persia had heavily armoured cavalry units called cataphracts. These horsemen formed a solid wall, providing mutual support and protection. Their ability to deliver powerful charges made them feared on the battlefield. However, Arab Muslim conquests and changes in warfare led to their decline. Despite this, their strategies inspired militaries for centuries. Did any of these warriors scare you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Check out other cool content on the screen and see you next time.